both presidential contenders will rise or fall based on whom they settle on for running mate. In short, it will be a make or break situation. Peter Kenneth, born in Bahati, with roots in Gatanga, is seen as the most likely person to deputize Raila Odinga. The former Gatanga MP has been accompanying the former Prime Minister across Kenya for the past few months. While Raila is campaigning for presidency, Peter Kenneth is not campaigning for any seat. He has not announced interest in any position, but only declared he is supporting Raila. With Mount Kenya being a rich region in terms of votes, Raila is likely to pick his deputy from Mount Kenya. Several leaders from the region, among them Mutahi Kagwe, Peter Munya, and several governors, among them Nakuru Governor Lee Kinyanjui, have been mentioned as likely running mate to Raila. Remember, even before the rallies began, Peter Kenneth met regularly with Raila and his allies at Francis Atuoli's home. Peter Kenneth finds himself in a good position, enjoying support from top allies of President Kenyatta. Mrathe and Maina Kamanda have in the past insisted that Moranga must produce a running mate because it has never produced a president or a deputy, despite its role in Kenya's political history. That simply means that they have settled on Peter Kenneth. Also, Peter Kenneth is a clean man as he has no issues of corruption and his track record as the MP of Gatanga for two terms puts him as the most suitable man to deputize Raila. He is also likely to make an influence in converting the youth votes to Raila as he is young. So, by now, if the quest for Mount Kenya votes will come down to running mate choice, it will appear that the odds favor Raila over Ruto, as Ruto only have few and limited options.